The North Dakota Game and Fish Department started stocking Chinook salmon in Lake Sakakawea in 1976, and anglers have been targeting them at this time of year ever since. Historically, they always fished them in ice off or ice out, and it, it, there's got to be a period where that kind of went away. In the last three, four, five years, they've started doing that again. And like this year they did it too, and they, they catch salmon right away at ice off. Then traditionally, the main bite occurs, you know, mid to late summer and August being the prime time. As the lake warms up, a thermocline sets up, basically where the warm and cold water meet. And salmon hang out along the thermocline or below where the colder water is and the smelt are. End of July, August, you're, you're gonna need downriggers to get down to that. 60, 70, 80, 100 feet of water. Usually around Labor Day, the beginning of September, the fish start moving shallow. And at that point, anybody can catch them offshore using a crankbait, casting out crankbaits, casting out a bobber with a worm, a bobber with egg sacs. Every spring, the North Dakota Game and Fish Department stocks salmon in Lake Sakakawea to ensure there's a salmon fishery. This year, where the plan was to stock 400,000. We, we ended up stocking 376,000 approximately. They didn't do as well in the hatchery last winter as they normally do, um, but it's still a good number of fish. Kinsler says the size of salmon in Lake Sakakawea, while close to the long-term average, has trended in the wrong direction for about three years. As the reservoir ages, that productivity decreases. And we're seeing that in our smelt sizes are decreasing, and we think that's why our salmon sizes are decreasing. And what can salmon anglers expect to catch this year? So what we've seen is when anglers get out at ice off and they start catching salmon, that's a good sign that we have decent numbers of salmon out there and to expect a, a fairly decent run this fall. I would think it'll be pretty good. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.